This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Well, Ray, fast forward that from there you returned to WWE at the Royal Rumble in 2018 before signing a full-time deal later on. What was it like to return to WWE after doing your own bookings and in Indies in Japan and Mexico? What was that like to finally make the return home to WWE? It felt good. It felt like uh, like I needed that break, needed to step away from the big scene and uh, focus on myself. And, you know, uh, the interest that I had wrestling in other places without going too extreme, uh, no impact or or uh, just any any other bigger wrestling company that's not WWE. I kind of just did my own thing, you know, and mainly because I did want to go back to Mexico and, and do a little bit of Mexico. But overall, you know, coming back after after that time, it felt good. It felt like I was uh, uh, energized once again. I was ready to go. And the, the other good thing about it is um, we kind of met in the middle. You know, I wasn't looking out for them and they weren't looking out for me. It kind of just happened. We mixed and the timing was perfect. Well, it had to be amazing teaming with your son, Dominic, at this point in, in your career, uh, when you came back to WWE and Dominic joined you. Am I correct? Yeah. You had guys, oh. you know, was it, was it, um, what did it mean to you? No. Uh, well, I, I'm sure Dominic can answer that because when he started training, when I came back to WWE in 2018, the, the purpose of my return as well was to eventually get Dominic situated and, uh, you know, go to the performance center. That happened so fast between angles with Samoa Joe and Seth. Uh, and Seth. But Seth was the last one. And I think we, we worked with Joe first, remember? Yeah, it was, uh, it was Brock, Joe. Seth. Brock, Joe, Seth, yeah. And by the time he got to Seth, it was like, okay, uh, let's get him in there. And we're like, whoa. He doesn't yeah. need an XT. Yeah, he hasn't been to the performance <laughs> center yet. Like, whoa. So you're the only one that skipped NXT, Dom. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. And, um, you know, to, to have, to have seen his, his career take off in a blink of an eye. And it really didn't even give me time to digest or to even capture. Okay. You're wrestling. He wrestled one day, SummerSlam the next day, the next day we tagged the next day we tagged. And we talked about, oh, imagine one day when we get to wrestle uh, with each other, you know, as tag team. Like, this was all conversations that we were having when he started to train. But now it's, it happens so fast. So it's like, wow. You know, it just it didn't give us time to absorb the moment. Dominic, it, this had to be a dream come true for you, right? Tagging with your dad and working with your dad in this business. Oh, most definitely. You know, it's... uh. Not only is it a dream come true for me, but, you know, having him in my corner, just helping me out in any way, shape or form that he can, just guiding me and, you know, giving me little tips in Spanish and stuff like that is just, it's been an, a, a huge help for me and being able to move on and, and just, you know, evolve as a performer. He's the person you can trust the most too. Yeah, most definitely. Without a doubt, he's got your best interests at heart. No, no doubt about it, right? Nobody's going to care for you like your dad. Yeah. So cool. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.